So before we get started, we are going to take a look at what GitHub Actions is and why you should care about GitHub Actions and GitHub Workflows. So what is GitHub Actions? So at the end of the day, GitHub Actions is a CI CD platform that allows you to automate your build, test, and deployment pipelines. And if you're not familiar with CI CD, this stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment. And this is a software development practi practice that combines development and operation teams in their day-to-day -day task. And this applies to the automation of developing, testing, and delivering your application. And so wh what that really means is there's two pieces here. There's continuous integration and there is continuous deployment. And they are two separate things and CICD is kind of combining both of these things. Uh, so if you're not familiar, a continuous integration or CI is the process where teams integrate their code early and often into one central location. Uh, so in the case of our course, uh, this will be GitHub, uh, but this could be any platform. Like so the, the key concept is you're integrating it into one spot. And the goal of this is to speed up your uh, release process by enabling your team to identify and fix your problems early in the development cycle. So instead of waiting until a feature is completed, you can start incre doing incre incremental releases to start doing your testing. You, this continuous integration reduces the amount of time you spent on bug fixes and regression testing and helps ensure that everyone has a deep understanding of what's really happening in the code base and what features they're developing for your end-to-end -end users. On the other end of the spectrum, we have CD or continuous delivery. Um, and this is the practice of getting all updates, fixes, features, and configuration changes either into production or into the hands of your end-to-end -end users as quickly and safely as possible. And really the main goal here is you want to streamline that delivery and deployment process so that your repeatable and predictable task can be performed on demand. And so this goes beyond just deploying production code as well. This could also be like a development environment or a test environment uh, where you're testing your changes and doing an integration tests before you actually hit that release button and promote it to production. And this is kind of one of the workflows we're gonna take a look at is as you know, when code is pushed, we can release a new version, which then later on could be used to kick off a deployment process. And so some examples of this is, let's say if you have a static website, you could have your uh, continuous deployment build and then deploy that site to your uh, environment, uh, like Heroku, S3, uh, so on, GitHub pages. Um, an example of continuous integration uh, could be where you want to run your linting, you want to run your tests every time there's a new change pushed to your repository. Uh, some other examples of CI CDA platforms are like Jenkins, Travis CI, and Circle CI. Um, and these all have uh, integrations with GitHub as well uh, through, uh, through GitHub apps. And so this is all built into GitHub in your GitHub repository. So now you can manage all of this from one location. So why should you care about GitHub Actions? GitHub Actions are fully integrated into GitHub and you are not reliant on another tool. So like I mentioned, there are other platforms and tools that can do the same functionality, uh, but these are all built into GitHub and so you can manage it all from one spot. Um, you're also not reliant if, you know, if there's an issue with Travis CI, you're not blocked from deploying something. What's great is there is a free plan for everyone. Uh, so if you have your code hosted in a public open source repository, GitHub Actions is free. You don't have to pay uh, for a subscription you don't have to pay for any of the plans it's just free out of the box and if you have a private repository you get 2,000 free minutes uh, per month that you can use uh, for github actions uh, there's a large collection of ci templates uh, that you can automatically use when you start a new repo and you want to set up github actions uh, there's also a github marketplace uh, so there's a lot of reasonable third-party um, actions that you can use out of the box some of these include things like checking out a repository uh, deploying code uh, to uh, npm um, and many many more